Hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. Today we want to talk about seasonal hair loss and why is it happening to you. So we've been talking about the winter scalp, uh, so there's also some seasonal changes uh, that people explain they're getting hair loss uh, from the um, different seasons. So we want to look at why could this possibly be happening to you. So does hair loss increase in summer or winter? Now with the human hair cycle, it is not supposed to. The hair cycle is a constant. It's in a cycle of growing, resting, falling, and it shouldn't be disturbed by seasonal changes. We're also not like other mammals who can increase their coat uh, during the winter and then shed for the uh, warmer weather. However, in writing this article, there are a few studies out there that are actually kind of proving that there is a true seasonal hair loss in some places in the world but what they're more relating it to is uh, a lot of dark like there's no sunlight uh, at all shorter days a lack of sunshine those kinds of things so here in brisbane we should not be getting those types of things so we look at uh, other possibilities so the hair fall in winter that i would generally see when i'm helping clients is more related to deficiency. So particularly vitamin D, we've talked a bit about that with the winter scalp. You really need to check your levels. We also eat differently when we're in winter. We're not eating uh, the cold, fresh food. So everything's cooked. So we generally, we can be killing the essential fatty acids in our foods. And we also are uh, not drinking enough water, not getting enough fluids. Okay, so that can tend to be the hair fall in winter. Then I see the seasonal hair loss in summer. So in summertime, generally what I see is people's ferritin levels have dropped through the winter and you're also now starting to be a little, uh, a bit more active. So you're using up more ferritin with your exercise. So through summer, check your ferritin levels. So the seasonal hair shedding that people say it happens at the same time every year may not be just the season, but it can be annual stressors. So we look at are there certain things and times of year that actually stress you out and there you want to look at your B12 levels as well. Okay, so if you are experiencing this seasonal hair loss and you have male pattern thinning or female pattern hair thinning, when you have a hair shed from the hair cycle, it's of course going to increase what you're seeing in the pattern hair thinning. So some people just say that this uh, pattern thinning is seasonally getting worse, but it's the actual hair shed that you're experiencing. And again, check your blood tests. You just about always find a clue there. So if you are actively doing treatment for pattern hair thinning and you experience hair loss, you might sort of go back a little bit in treatment, but you will get back on track um, as well. So people always ask about the actual stages of hair growth. So we have the growing phase, which is the big um, active bulb, that's our antigen hair. We've then got our resting stage, which is catagen, and then they call the falling phase the telogen. So when we have the um, seasonal hair loss, it's normally the antigen hair is being pushed out into the telogen phase. So the hair cycle disturbances is uh, normal hair, hair loss telogen is we would lose between 70 and 160 a day. So when it's seasonal, it can be over 160 a day. So that's more to do obviously related to the hair cycle. So when you do have the deficiencies we mentioned earlier, they will disturb the growing phase of the hair. So low vitamin D, low B12, low ferritin will all push the hair out of its cycle, which will then also expose pattern hair thinning. So how I help people is we look at the levels. We wanna make sure that it's individual for you. Okay, if we're currently doing any treatment to stabilize your hair cycle, some people we have to do that. We would use our Activance and we also have our GRN and then we make sure that your other levels are at sufficiency. So if you're experiencing seasonal hair loss, look at those things that I've mentioned. If you need my help, you know you can email me info at